Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kev and today I'll be showing you how you can easily turn your Xbox console into an emulation machine. A couple of things that you will need extra to what I'm going to show you today is a USB drive formatted to NTFS with your ROMs you would like to play preloaded. With that said, let's go take a look at how easy this is. We're going to be installing RetroArch and thanks to Gamer13 this is now easier than ever. Previously you would have had to sign up to be a developer and then turn your dev mode on on your console. Nothing too tricky but enough to put most of you off. Let's head over to the Xbox and open up Edge. Here we want to browse to the following URL gamer13.github.io once the page loads, we are looking to install the App Store. At the top of the page, you will see various links. So if you like what you see, please ensure you support Gamer13 by clicking his links. Let's scroll down and select Download App and install it. When that's done, let's go ahead and open it up. Today we are concentrating on RetroArch, so let's go ahead and select it and then choose Install. Once done, open RetroArch and we are presented with a menu. Now, before we go ahead and load up our games, we have to make a few quick changes. First up, we need to update a few things. Go ahead and scroll down and update Core Info Files, Assets, which will give us a nice new graphical interface, and lastly, Controller Profiles, to ensure the games work properly with our Xbox controllers. When those three things are up to date, we need to do just a couple more things. Let's head back to the main menu using B on the controller and then go into settings and directory right at the bottom. You can hit up on your D-pad to insta jump to the bottom here. Like before, we have three things to update. Looks scary, but it's not. Just follow what I do and hit pause on the video if I go too quickly for you. Head down to configs and then press up on the D-pad to jump to the U drive. Scroll down to config and select use this directory. Next, choose core info. Go to the U drive again, down to info and select use this directory again. Lastly, choose Databases, U Drive, Database, use this directory. Now press B to head back to the main menu again, where we have one last thing to do. In Settings, then Input, select Hotkeys, then Menu Toggle Controller Combo. In here, let's choose R3 and L3. This basically lets us click both thumbsticks at the same time to load up the RetroArch menu anytime we need it. Jump back to the main menu, select configuration file and choose save current config. It should save on exit, but it's a good habit to save often. Press B, then select quit. Now it's time to play. Pop in your preloaded USB drive and open RetroArch again. Select load content and then select the D drive, which is where we can access our USB drive from. From here, I select the game folder on my stick, and then let's load up Legend of Zelda on SNES. When you select the game, you'll get options as to what core to use. I've tried a few, and they all seem to work okay, but I normally choose B SNES 2014 Balanced. 
And there we go. We are now playing classic Nintendo game on our Xbox console and controller. Now there is an additional setting we can change and it will change the look of the menu. Open the settings menu, user interface, click menu and select XMB. Now close RetroArch and reload it. And now we have the classic PlayStation 3 menu. Just for those that like that sort of thing, of course. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it has helped you out, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and as always, please leave a comment below. Happy gaming!